Hello everyone, I'm Arthur from binary-thoughts.net and in this video I'll be showing you how to install Microsoft's Visual Studio Express Edition which is currently their free edition. The date today is April 11th, 2013. Note that Visual Studio is made for the Windows operating system. As you can see I am using Windows 7 and I will be installing it on a Windows 7 environment. If you are using a different environment such as Windows XP or Windows 8 the process should be very similar. The first step is downloading uh, Visual Studio Express Edition from Microsoft.com slash express slash uh, download and I'll, I'll leave the link in the description of the video. Um, once you get to the website you want to go to where uh, you can download uh, Express for Windows desktop. So go ahead and click on that and it will bring you to another page um, and go ahead and just click click the download button there. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about Visual Studio and what you want to do is you want to click download um, in the selective language. So I'm in English so I want to uh, select the English drop down and then also I want to uh, install now. So this will open up a window asking you if you want to save run the application. You want to save it. So go ahead and save it um, someplace where uh, you can remember where it's at. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it in my downloads folder. It, it shouldn't take long to download and once um, it has finished downloading go ahead and run it. I will ask you are you sure you want to run this application? Go ahead and hit run. Um, Visual Studio will now start the installation process. Now I'm going to go ahead and let this install for the time being and um, it will ask you where you want to install it um, as well as do you agree to the terms and license agreements. I've already read the agreement so um, if you haven't go ahead and click on that and re read through the license terms. Um, if you agree to those go ahead and check the box. Um, I don't really want to join this um, improvement program so I'm going to unclick that. If you wish to change the directory in which it installs or um, if you do want to join the customer um, experience improvement program, go ahead and check that box. Um, once you've made all the selections needed, uh, go ahead and click install. Um, it will ask you again if you want to install this uh, program. Go ahead and click yes. You know it's safe because it's from Microsoft. Um, so it will start the, the installation process. Um, and I'm just going to minimize that for the time being. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that it is free to use up to 30 days and then after 30 days you have to register it. But don't worry, um, registration is free. So you want to make sure you, you register your product. So go ahead and hit register now. So uh, you will want to log in and then follow through the registration process which I'll be showing later in the video. I'm going to go back to the installer and I'm just going to let that sit. Okay, after about 15 minutes or so, it finished the first part of the installation process. And now it is asking to restart um, your computer. So if you're not doing anything important on your computer and you have everything saved, go ahead and click the Restart Now button. Um, and this will just shut down uh, Windows and then uh, reopen Windows as well. So once you've successfully restarted your computer, you should see this Visual Studio um, tile. And it's actually the installer, and it's it's doing some stuff in the background on, on the startup. But I'm going to go ahead and just pull this tile in the front, um, very similar to Window. And as you can see, uh, the installer opened back up to what we're um, used to seeing. And it's, it's downloading more stuff and installing it. So you're going to have to let it sit again for another about... 15 minutes or so. And just go ahead and let that do um, its thing and we'll come back. So as you can see my installer just finished the second part of the installation process and it installed Visual Studio Express 2012 successfully which is all we should need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch uh, the application from here and it will probably ask for a registration key um, before using it. And um, 
It does, so you need a registration key. Uh, luckily we can get that from the website and it is free, so I'm just going to click the button here um, to register online and it will open up a window. Um, you will need a Microsoft account, so just an Outlook account essentially or just an email from them. And I'm going to go ahead and log in with mine and that will bring me to the registration page um, for the software. So you just have to fill out the registration. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It just asks you basic questions. What's your name? Why are you using this program? And so on. So I'm not going to fill out all my personal information on the video, but go ahead and go through that with your own information and we'll go from there. So once you finish filling out the registration form, you should be given a product key and the product key will be used to activate the software. So go ahead and just write that down or copy and paste it. Um, I'm going to copy and paste it, so uh, that's what I suggest doing. So once you have your product key copied into the installer, go ahead and hit next and it will go online and verify that your product key is valid. Once it's verified, you can go ahead and just close it and it will open Visual Studio. The first time opening Visual Studio will take a little bit longer, it's setting up all the preferences and um, user options. And once it opens, uh, you'll be in Visual Studio and you'll be able to use it from there. I want to thank everyone for watching and make sure that you like, subscribe, and check out my website, binary-thoughts.net, and my YouTube channel, Binary Thoughts, for more tutorials, videos, and resources. Thanks again, and good luck.